Everywhere you look, there's something to be found. Take a look now. What do the things around you say about who you are? What you believe? How you engage with others? In storytelling, the smallest things may help us to understand the larger world, to understand a character, or to understand the nature of reality itself. Think you see the whole picture? Take a closer look. These are object lessons. Bad eggs. Because you take too long, you make a big mess, and I have to clean the whole thing up. Here we go. Did you know that all the best chefs are men? I bet you didn't know that, did you? Isn't this terrific? This is terrific. We got to do this more often. You dropped some shell in there. Oh, uh, it's all right. Makes it crunchier that way. You like your French toast crunchy, don't you? All right, I'll tell you what. Why don't you beat them? And I'll get everything else going. What time do you have to be in school? An egg. Now, an egg is not a stone. It is not made of wood. It is a living thing. It has a heart. So when we crack it, we must not torment it. We must be merciful and execute it quickly, like with the guillotine. That is really nice. Eggshell with Romalian type. What do you think? I can't go into a toe field so over your head. But it's bad, huh? Like eggs rolled in sand. Any, any of you boys ever heard of Jack Kelly? Oh, you mean Jack Kelly? Yeah, he was here. But he put an egg in his shoe and beat it. <laughs> Everything was going so well. Why are you doing this, Stephen? I made you breakfast, and we were eating, Ow. and no, scramby eggs, and no, I'll fix this, Stephen. No. I can fix it. I can make it cool again. Out. You can do whatever you like with these. Eggie wax. I would like to smash them. Over easy. But you can't make an omelet without breaking some eggs. Old 12. I'll take them as they are. But they're totally broken. I'll take them as they are. Fifty eggs. Nobody can eat fifty eggs. You just said he could eat anything. You ever eat fifty eggs? Nobody ever eats fifty eggs. This guy's going through all the eggs. Look. This is 
have been going on for 20 minutes now. Well, what's he looking for? Said he has to find the perfect dozen. Perfect dozen? Yeah, each egg has to be perfect. It has a name. The name stands for the thing. Hey, what's this? I think it's an eagle egg. Hey, I wonder if you can eat eagle eggs. We could make an omelette. Walter, leave me alone. Eat your eggs, you're gonna be cold. See? A man say to his woman, I got me a dream. She says, eat your eggs, they're getting cold. Man say to his woman, help me now to take a hole in this world somehow. And she says, eat your eggs and go to work. I tell you, I gotta change my life because I'm choking to death. And all you say to me is eat these eggs. These eggs don't look runny. Mr. De Leon likes them runny. They look runny to me. They're pretty runny. He's a regular. Who can argue with that? And who can argue with you? Thy head is full of quarrel, like an egg is full of meat. William Shakespeare, Romeo and Juliet. I'm reading it now. Act three, scene one. I can't find it now. OK. Raw eggs coming up. Again. That's the girl's egg. It's Gordo's egg. That's the girl's egg. Then where the fuck was my egg? Seafood chowder. Well, isn't that an egg? What? An egg. Why, yes, it is. It is a huevo. <laughs> you were so lost, you didn't even know what kind of eggs you like. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's right. With a priest, you wanted scrambled. With with a deadhead, it was fried. With the other guy, the bug guy, it was it was poached. Now it's like, oh, uh, uh, egg whites only. Thank you very much. I, I thought of that old joke. You know, the, this this guy goes to a psychiatrist and says, Doc, uh, my brother's crazy. He thinks he's a chicken. And uh, the doctor says, Well, why don't you turn him in? And the guy says, I would, but I need the eggs. Well. I guess that's pretty much now how I feel about relationships. You know, they're totally irrational and crazy and absurd. And But uh, I guess we keep going through it because uh, most of us need the eggs. You.